Good evening, I'm Carol Morrison. Governor Mary Fallon issuing a last minute stay of execution for Richard Glossop. And now we're learning they had the wrong drug on hand. That's just one major story that we're tracking for you tonight. Also this evening, Tulsa County Sheriff Stanley Glantz announcing that he is going to resign. The word coming moments after a grand jury requested his removal. We begin our team coverage of the grand jury indictments with two works for investigator Marla Carter. She's live outside the Tulsa County Courthouse right now for us. Marla. Karen, in their report, the grand jury found that the sheriff abused his power, gave favoritism to some of the deputies, and in some cases, even broke the law. It's a day of relief for the people behind the grand jury petition. It's an emotional roller coaster, I can definitely tell you. After 20 days of testimony, the jury reached eight allegations against Sheriff Stanley Glanz, many stemming from a 2009 memo. That found Reserve Deputy Robert Bates received special treatment and lacked training. The jury says Glanz worked to hide that memo. That, they found, was a misdemeanor. After that memo leaked out, Glanz told the grand jury that he fired two people he suspected leaked the memo, saying the leak weighed in favor of terminating. In another allegation, the jurors found that Bates was verbally reprimanded for his dangerous behavior with his weapon. Bates became angry, refused to complete his training, but the sheriff ordered deputies pass him. The sheriff says he's resigning soon. Effective immediately, uh, under Sheriff Weigel, will take control of the day-to-day -day operations of the sheriff's office. We had to go through this process. We had to spend taxpayers' money, and you know this could have been avoided. This really could have been avoided just by him stepping down. Now, the sheriff was not in the courtroom today. He was actually out of town. As far as what happens next, the undersheriff will take over some of his responsibilities. Now, coming up tonight at 10, we'll tell you why the grand jury says the sheriff was lining his pockets with county funds. Reporting live from downtown Tulsa, Marla Carter, two works for you.